We've had this intermittent issue with our heating system where this motor, which has normally got a cover on it, it's a Honeywell Powerhead valve motor and it will make this noise. So what seems to be happening is that the motor has engaged, it's quite noisy when it tries to do it, and it doesn't flip the micro switch to turn the heating on. Now if we pull the manual lever at the back, it does move across freely, so that does show that the motor has turned, but it maybe hasn't fully moved into position. Now that I was pretty sure that it was this component that was the problem, I looked at how I would go about replacing it. I had a look at instructions online, so I was pretty confident that I knew what I was going to do. Looking on Screwfix, I could get a replacement for about £65. So I went ahead and got one of those. And then I looked at how I would actually wire that into the system. Taking off the cover of the control box, obviously the power to the system is completely off at this point, And I tested it with a multimeter just to be sure. But the wiring inside here is pretty messy. And what I didn't want to do was disturb this and then have something else fail. So what I decided to do was cut the existing wire here and splice it in the new unit. Now before taking off the old one and putting the new one on, put both of the units, the old one and the new one, into manual and lock that off. The new one actually has six wires instead of five. Uh, the white one is the one that we don't need for my heating system. So I've isolated that off. Then I've put all the wires into this terminal block, then put it inside an isolating box. Now to remove the old one, make sure that you're working with one that has two screws that fit it to the pipework. Uh, if you've got four, do not remove it without draining the tank, otherwise you're gonna get wet. Once I've loosened both of those screws, I just needed a bit of wiggling to get that off. And then you can see what it's actuating when the motor turns. You can check whether this moves freely using a, a pair of pliers just to make sure it's not gummed up and actually the cause of the problem. If it is, then you'll need to replace that. So I've cut through the wire from the old unit and this is the one that goes into the control box. Then I've taken each of those wires into the terminal box and just matched up the colours. At this point, it's probably worth giving it a try, make sure it all works. And that's it. Since doing this, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, the motor is almost silent, uh, which is a big change from before. I hope this was useful. Do not attempt this if you're not confident with electrics. Reach out to a professional if you've got any doubts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.